So, day one, I go to work on the car for, what, one or two hours. And I can't get out of my jack stands. It just kicks them away, and they're little profile ramps. So I thought, well, I'll jack it up. Can't get my big daddy jack under it. So I thought, well, I'll jack it up underneath the door, and I'll push my ramps under it. Can only get the car so high. And it was like right there at the edge, the lip on the flat part of the ramp. So I was like, all right, I'll lower the car on there and then I'll jack up the other side and I'll just drive it up the rest of the way. It'll be past that spot. Jack up the other side. And the passenger side kicks out. And since the bumper requires two people, my dad was there. They thought that we could take it off the way it had it jacked. And I'm like, nope, back tires off the ground. They like the driver's side because I got jacked up. Couldn't think of it. I bought a bottle jack somewhere. I wonder what I did with it. I distinctly remember buying a bottle jack. When I did the, uh, when I was working on my cobalt on the wheel bearing. What did I do with it? What if I stole my truck and didn't use it? Where if it's in my trunk? This is why we work in small amounts. Sometimes, when you fail, you have to take a moment to pause and really evaluate your what you're doing and then choose something different. I think I'll see if I can get the bottle jack to jack up the car high enough to get the big daddy jack under it underneath the tire and then that can jack. Oh, 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 to be continued. Well, let's see. Uh, I finally got an email from a lawyer. I'm kind of feeling it's too late since I dropped a thousand dollars worth of money on parts and uh, it took him what uh, almost two weeks for someone to contact me. So, yeah, I don't know how that's going to go. We haven't heard nothing back. I sent them all my documents. So I've got a feeling uh, it's a no-go. I don't know. Who knows? I can see I had to cut my dome piece. Can't be working on this car because uh, cause of my hair. It's caught and shit. So, it is what it is. So I got uh, got camshaft lifters, a new oil pump, the gaskets, and I got an old data account. <clears throat> so I think I'm gonna put a grand total of what I just what I'm about to spend on this car. That's not counting fluids and everything else. Plus tools, I'll buy some more tools. So we're gonna see what the grand total is when I'm all done. No. People see this video or series of videos and reevaluate buying a used car from Parkway Nissan in Dover, Ohio. And I'm straight out calling them out. So, yeah. Pretty good. I think, uh, you know, I'm sitting to reevaluate it. The salesman said they, they outsourced the car to get checked or something. To some guy, is what he said. Uh, it doesn't make sense because that Nissan dealer owns a Dodge and Ford dealership down the road. So why would they outsource that to someone to get inspected? Why, why would he just take it to the dealer? So, yeah. Plus, they sold the car. You know, I didn't really look at the tires because it's a dealership. I didn't really think, you know, I, would, I really let my guard down. 
that's on me. You know, they sell the car at both tires. I really don't think they had the car checked. And I also think it's a pretty good little scheme, I think, that uh, you sell a car for 86, well, in my case, 96, which must have been 86. And uh, you get them on the car, and then you get them on the repair bill. You think, well, that 20% part in labor, like, like a little care. Well, how many people go around and, and unable to repair their own vehicle like this? I mean, let's not sugarcoat this. This is not a brake job. This is not um, two, three hundred dollar repair. It's not a fuel pump. I'm rebuilding half of my fucking motor. It's fucking ridiculous. And apparently, this is how they run their business because the more and more I talk, I find out more and more stories. One coworker's neighbor bought a, a Dodge pickup, and it was like a month or two later, his transmission dropped $3,500. Coworker, he bought a pickup truck, had the same issue I had, started, his cans were going out. It's a Dodge pickup. But he went through bankruptcy and they got taken. So he didn't have to deal with it, but he was going to do the same thing I'm doing. And another co-worker works in the shop, bought a Ford Fusion. And then he had a huge, like, three grand or something like that on his car. He bought the car for six. He ended up getting them to do uh, work with him. He had to really fight. I think he ended up charging $800 or some shit. So this is, this is how they run their business. So, yeah. They ain't getting any more of my money. Simple as that. They've already milked me in the car. I refuse to give them... I don't, I don't care how much. I refuse to give them any more of my fucking money. So now my car sits in my garage. And, um... Ridiculous. You know, I drive eight. So, you know, I would expect, you know, maybe a wheel bearing or, I don't know, fuel pump go out or, 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 you know what I mean? But the top end of your fucking motor, like seriously, and then a 7300 for a new replacement motor, that's with the install. I think it was 53 for the motor itself. That's just ridiculous. And it's embarrassing. That they're a certified dealership. Now my video didn't really mean to become a rant, but yeah, that's how I feel. And uh, I'm tag, I'm putting the YouTube tag, this dealership, and the location, so people look on YouTube for them. Then we found. Anyhow, I'm gonna be. I guess I'm gonna officially start working on the car this Saturday, and uh, I had problems getting the car jacked up. Apparently, it's really, really low, and even my low-profile tire uh, ramps that I use on my uh, Camaro won't work on there. And end up having to use a bottle jack to lift up the car partially to get my other jack in there. I couldn't even get my floor jack under it. To the seat to jack it up. And I don't know if that's a bad omen or what, but it's what it is. Anyhow, see what Saturday brings me. Hopefully, I'll have it tore apart by Sunday. That's my goal. I'm going to take the heads off, get machined, get new valves put in. And and it's putting it back together. So, hopefully things go smooth. Usually don't. Anyhow, it's good. Have a good day.